All right. Now, we've just seen, as we've been discussing, the total collapse of America's global leadership and international standing under Biden. But it's not much better here at home. The Federal Reserve now predicting another recession this year. Real wages, Americans' earnings after inflation, falling for two years straight. A trillion dollars, a trillion dollars added to the national deficit in just six months. America's great cities descending into crime, squalor and decay. The lawlessness there matched only by the chaos at our southern border. All the while, the administration spends its time ideology signaling to its far left activist base on everything from the climate extremism that's wrecking our energy provision to the identity politics narcissism that just further inflames our nation's divisions. With all this, you'd think Republicans would be storming ahead, selling a powerful alternative to the manifest failure of ultra-progressive governance. But instead, they seem to be losing all the time, most recently in the presidential battleground of Wisconsin. So here's a reality check. The GOP needs to get it together. They need to be more professional, more principled, and more positive. Being professional means understanding what their job is. Take it from someone, yeah, that would be me, who has run campaigns, run policy development in government, and now hosts a TV show. These are different jobs. If you want to win elections, you don't just chase every latest controversy or fight every available culture war. You don't just talk to the people who are going to vote for you anyway. And you don't just talk about the topics that fire up your base. Apparently, this kind of thing is now driving people away from supporting Ron DeSantis. I can't remember the last time I heard leading Republicans talk about major policy issues like the economy or health care. And I don't mean some page on a website. I mean really talking about these things in a way that people actually hear. That's what being professional means. And being professional means not being mean. You've got to persuade people to vote for you. Care and compassion win people over. But as well as being more professional in the battle for voters' attention, Republicans need to get more principled in the battle of ideas. Too often these days, they seem totally incoherent and inconsistent. How often have you heard Republicans complain, rightly, about federal government overreach? As we always remind you, read the Tenth Amendment. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states, respectively, or to the people. So, what on earth is the GOP doing passing a federal education bill in the House? However much you may agree with its intentions, this would just further centralize power. We see the same kind of inconsistency over this abortion pill ruling. How many times have Republicans rightly complained about judges legislating from the bench? That's what this judge tried to do here. Whatever your views on abortion, the right place to make the law is the legislature. Wasn't that the entire point Republicans made about Roe? But now when a judge hands down an abortion ruling they like, so-called principled conservatives like Mike Pence applaud it. Pence likes to call himself a Reagan Republican. Oh, really? Here's Reagan's Supreme Court nominee, Robert Bork, in 1990. Every time a judge gives in to the temptation to make policy from the bench, quote, a faint crack appears in the American foundation. And on that same issue of abortion, more than a faint crack is appearing in the Republicans' policy position. For decades, as long as Roe stood, the GOP could get away with a message on abortion that was purely negative. But after Dobbs, that's not good enough. Republicans got what they wanted. Abortion decided in the states. That means on this, just as on other issues, the GOP needs to offer voters actual policies, positive and practical policies. But look what's happening instead. As our friend Kimberly Strassel recently laid out in the Wall Street Journal, quote, in race after race, state after state, Democrats are pummeling conservative candidates on abortion, drowning out every other topic, stoking fearful centrists, suburbanites and women to turn out and elect them to office. Most voters are in the mainstream. They're sick of all the extremism. They want positive, practical, problem-solving from their politicians and government, not ideological crusades. So this is how the GOP can get it together. Be professional. Focus on the issues that will win people over. Be principled. Why should people trust you if you abandon what you say are your deeply held beliefs for short-term advantage? And be positive and practical. Offer people hope and inspiration before something, not just against things. So yeah, get it together, GOP.
That's the next revolution we need. Tell us if you agree at the new free Twitter at NextRevFNC and at Steve Hilton X and share this message when we post it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.